Ahoy there! I am Rev, the first mate, and this is Sam, the captain, and we make up the crew here at What Yacht To Do. If you're new here, you can check out our playlist because we have actually gone around America's Great Loop two times. Two different times, and the first time, well, part of it, we owned a home, then we sold our house, and we pretty much had the boat for yeah. about three years. We always said we were homeless, and now we've purchased a home again, and we're technically into our third loop. We're not doing a third loop. Well, we're technically I, into our third loop. I'll edit that out. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll leave it in. You're right. We are technically, we have started our third loop. Right. So, while we were unpacking boxes, I came across this treasure, and this was a journal that my sister Vanessa gave to Sam. It has a lovely leather-bound cover with a ship on it, so he could write down his thoughts and, as the captain. And where was that book? It was on our boat really? the whole okay. time, All yeah. Right. And uh, you can see there's nothing <laughs> written in here, and in fact... The only person that wrote anything was me, so I grabbed this book the first day of our first loop, May 15th, 2019. That was, was a long a, time ago. That was ago. the day we started, yeah. Yeah. So my first entry is, today's the day, exclamation point. <laughs> we are leaving Cutter Marina at 1215 and are heading to Chesapeake City, Maryland. I will tell you that uh, we were not prepared to leave that day. We left that day, but um, we were not very comfortable with our boat. Well, I do also, I kind of remember that day, and I haven't read this. Um, wasn't it we delayed because of the weather or something? It was a little rainy that day, I think. Did yeah, you put it that was. In there? Yeah, okay, mm, right? No. Anyway, okay, mm -mm. so 12.15 is it's a late start for us. True. Right. But I found out that it was a three-hour cruise, you know, like a <laughs> Gilligan's Island theme was running through my head. I, I don't know. It was kind of ominous. Mm -hmm. But then sun came out. So that was my very first thing I wrote in there. And then after the day was over, I came back to the journal, wrote down my thoughts. So this is our very first stand oh, After we docked? After, After we docked, okay. So yeah. you wrote in there. Okay, yeah. cool. All right, you didn't write anything <laughs> during that time that we are gone. No, oh, I was okay. just taking in all the sights and all sounds. Right. And right. you have to realize that we weren't comfortable with the boat. I wasn't even sure that I could tie us to the dock. <laughs> I mean, that we, we were not prepared. I, I beg you, please get more prepared than we were. So I wrote, it was a beautiful day. Perfect weather for our first cruise. You know, some people, they have a boat at a marina and they take it out on the weekends and they get used to it. They learn their boat. They learn about the plumbing and the cooking and uh, everything about what it's like to have a little apartment out there on the water. Well, we knew that part of it because we stayed yeah, we at the did. dock the whole time. What we didn't know was how to move the boat <laughs> and the coordination. We did hire a captain for two days. So. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't help. I had the basics down. Mm, okay. You're uh, you're being very generous with the uh, <laughs> information yeah. there. Okay, so we arrived in Chesapeake City around 3.30 p.m. And we're able to park at the Free City Dock. Park. <laughs> well, I thought that's what boats did. They park in the, in the marina. I but, uh, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. now yeah. I know. So, Cousin Russ, who we took with right, us, right, and right. tell him why we took Cousin Russ with well, us. we just felt like, hey, it would be good to have some moral support. Yes. And uh, it was great to have. Russell. I wish he would have known how to drive our boat and tie all the lines. <laughs> that would have been awesome. But no, anyway. Then we wouldn't have learned. <laughs> <laughs> True. So, Cousin Russ helped me with the mm. lines, and a friendly couple from New Hampshire parked in front also helped with the lines. Mm. They were Dennis and Julie, and they are headed home after being gone boating for several months. Dennis and Julie, if you're out there, I love you so much. <laughs> I was a wreck. Dennis asked me which line he wanted me to catch, and I was like, I don't know which one to do. And so he's like, give me the bow line. That's the one on the front. So thanks, Dennis. Uh, 
another teaching opportunity along the way. Uh, after we docked, oh, I said it right that time. After okay. we docked, oh, okay. another boat came in. It was a couple that was also uh, at the spring rendezvous. Kathleen and Michael. I in know. Norfolk mm -hmm. last week, and today was their first day starting the Great mm -hmm. Loop. So we um, we had both been the week before. We hadn't met them there, though. We had both been to this AGLCA organization has a spring rendezvous, and we went, mm -hmm. and then we got scared that we didn't know what we were doing, but uh, we decided to go anyway. Listen, yeah, we did the right thing. We would have never been able to prepare. If it's going to happen. <laughs> That's right. It's going to happen out there. It's going to happen out there. Mm. Um, Captain mm. Ron. So, um, their boat was called April Sails, right. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we couldn't get the shore power to work. And if you have followed me, it, I mean, us, you know that I need my air conditioning. And uh, our very first stop at a free city wall we couldn't get the shore power that's why it was free because they had problems with the electrics there yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um we couldn't get the shore power to work so we went from inverter to generator as if we were anchored out now i'm saying those words i have no idea what inverter and the generator i mean on this day yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. so i knew it was like we were anchoring out because we weren't plugged into the shore right. power and this one he doesn't run the generator so we can use air conditioning all the time i know some of you boaters out there do that you just your generator people I love you. Invite me to your boat anytime. I will uh, enjoy it thoroughly. <laughs> <laughs> it's free to dock here, so I guess we got what we paid for. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Cousin Russ invited a couple he knows from the area. He went to high school with them. Cousin Russ is older than you. Right, yeah. So, bet, um, yeah. yeah, so yeah. that's that's uh, awesome that you remain friends with your high school, yeah. high school people. Mm -hmm. They went to dinner uh, while Sam and I cried. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't put that I didn't uh, cry. <laughs> while, while Sam and I stayed here. The autopilot is overheating. That's right. Yeah, now I remember that. We had to have that adjusted somehow. I forget what we did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> gosh, I didn't remember that. Yeah. See, don't, don't be afraid of things that are going to go wrong. Things are going to go wrong. Just, you know, get out there. Camera. So uh, we. Oh, here's another little interesting tid tidbit. We aren't sure if the fuel tanks are working <laughs> properly. Did you hear what I said? We weren't sure if the fuel I tanks were working properly. I can't believe you wrote that in properly. there because it was two trips later that we had the real problem with it. Okay. Well, yeah. Tell them so we, we ran we, out of gas. No. That's what happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, we did. Why are you yeah. so acting okay. like nothing Chip happened? Three. All yeah, right. just spill the beans. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Sam tried to move diesel from one of the tanks to the other, but did it work? We don't know because we don't know if the uh, fuel tanks are working properly. The fuel transfer pump did not work, and that's why we had it repaired. I had one shipped to us, and we had it repaired. While we took a break up on the Erie Canal. Now I remember oh, okay. that. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay. Have you ever wondered what the perfect boat is for the Great Loop? The Great Loop is a 6,000 mile journey around the eastern United States and parts of Canada. Well, I'm Rev. And I'm Sam. And we had a lot of questions too before we started America's Great Loop, just like you. We started a YouTube channel called What You Ought To Do. And as a result, we received thousands and thousands of comments, messages, and emails. So we took the top 20 questions that we were asked about the boat, and they include the types of boats and the configuration, conveniences that you may want to have, navigation equipment, insurance, as well as shopping for your boat. This Great Loop Q&A session on the boat will help you select your boat or if you already have one, get it ready for the loop. Hey, sorry, we had to go to commercial break because we had some major technical issues over here. But anyway, 
Go ahead and check the availability for that boat Q&A because um, it is really a, an awesome thing. So let's continue now on with the, the journal, shall we? Sure, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we left off um, not knowing if the fuel um, gauges worked. Moving on, Sam worked on our navigation plan for tomorrow. We are leaving here around 9.30 to get fuel and then head to Cape May, New Jersey. Ah, okay, so the 9.30 thing. So we left on the very first one at 12.30 and then we pushed it up to 9.30 because it was a longer journey. We but, sound like leisure boaters. Yeah, and so eventually you'll see in some of our later videos, we're up at the crack of dawn. <laughs> in fact, we scared a couple people away from doing the loop. As I remember, boogaboo, Paul, you're going to do it one day. I know you are. And then Sam docked like he had been docking his whole life. you got to be kidding Very me. impressive. Wow. You know, he hadn't docked before this boat. So, uh, yeah, well, I, I, I was I impressed. It was a side tie. So it wasn't True. like I had to stern in or anything. Stern so, in yeah. at night. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't anything crazy like that. And the water was pretty mm -hmm. calm. Um, overall, it was a very successful day. We are on our way. Wow. So that was it. That's, yep. that's all in that book. Entry one and only, <laughs> I should say, for the journal. So I guess the bottom line from this is, as we're reflecting on it, is... Don't do what we did. Well, you'll never be <laughs> totally prepared to go on the loop and what things are going to be thrown at you. But be a little bit more prepared and maybe do a couple trial runs. Uh, check out your systems a little bit better. We were checking out the systems as we went along. And uh, <laughs> some of the times it bit us, and you'll see that in the videos. But in any case, uh, we've for... learned a lot. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, now we're sharing that information with you on Great Loop Academy so that you don't make the same mistakes we did. We'll see you next time on What Yacht To Do.